In the previous topic, we have seen about the stop keywords. Now we are going to see both how we can apply stop keywords and stemming. And then we are also going to see how we can apply both stop keywords and lemmatization. So let us go to the code and try to see how we can use both of them. So in order to use stop words initially and then apply a stemming on it, let us consider this particular paragraph. It is the same text that I have actually considered in my previous example. They are some values like to, a, he, that, the. So we will try to remove this first by using stop words. And always remember, first of all, you need to apply the stop words and then apply the stemming. That is because the stemming should not be applied on this kind of words like a, the, that, he, because it does not make any difference for the stemming purpose and for the model to understand those data, because those are the data which will not have that great importance in the case of positive and negative sentiment analysis. So what we are going to do is that now, first of all, we are going to apply the stop words on this particular paragraph and then I am going to apply something called as stemming that we have discussed in our previous class. Now, what we are going to do is that before going ahead, I have to import NLTK libraries, I have to import stop words and port stemmer. So, let us execute this particular line. So, I have imported NLTK, I have imported porter stemmer and stop words. So, both these libraries has been taken. And then once we execute this paragraph, this will be our paragraph variable again. You can see this is my paragraph. Now this paragraph is having all the sentences, the same thing I'm trying to execute it from the previous, it is basically the same paragraph. Now in the next thing, we are going to convert this paragraph into sentences by using nltk.send tokenize. So just execute this line and we will be able to see the sentences as five different sentences. Then what we are going to do is that we are going to execute the stemmer object and here it is my porter stemmer and my stemmer object is actually created. The next thing that I am going to discuss about is basically how I can apply stop words and then I am going to apply the stem to that particular words. To begin with again what we are doing is that we are iterating through the sentences. Once I iterate through the sentences, for each and every sentence I convert into words by using word underscore tokenize, that gets converted into words. Now for each and every word, if word not in stop words, first of all I am removing all the words that are present in stop words from this particular words itself. And then whatever word I get after removing the stop words, that will be applied to stemming in that particular sentence. Once we apply the stemming, we are going to join back all the words and store it in a new sentence called as new underscore sentences. Now, if I execute this, you can see that our new sentences will be created as a list and let us compare between the older sentence and the new sentence before applying both stop keywords and stemming process. Now, let us take an example of this. So, here it is and here is the other thing. So this is the right hand side text is basically my previous sentence before applying stop words and stemming and the left one is basically after applying the stop words and stemming. Now you can see the difference. In the right hand side we have a sentence like if a man wishes to become a great orator he must first become a student of the great orators who have come before him. Now you can see how it has got converted after applying stop and stemming. It has converted to something like if a man wish Instead of wishes, it has become wish, becomes, oh yeah, become has got the root form as B-E-C-O-M, become, great, orate. You can see that the orator has been converted to orate after applying the stemming process. And it first become, again become has actually become B-E-C-O-M. It has again done the stemming process in this. And finally, you will be able to get this kind of simpler sentence. And this will actually in turn help the model for processing this particular text efficiently. So this is how you have actually used both stop keywords and stemming keywords. Okay. Now we have seen about using stop along with stemming. Now let us see how we can use both the techniques that is stop along with lemmatization. Now let us come to the code and see how it can be done. Again, I'm using the same paragraph that I have actually showed you in my previous section. 
but first of all we need to import the libraries that we require so i'm going to first of all import nltk and then i'm going to import stop words and wordnet lemmatizer wordnet lemmatizer is basically for the lemmatizing and the stop keywords is basically used for this particular stop words library and let me execute this two line once i execute this two line i'll be getting those libraries imported then let me execute this paragraph this paragraph will have all the text that you will be seeing over here and this is basically a speech taken from one of the wikipedia article now what you can do is that the first thing again you need to convert this whole paragraph into multiple sentences so for that you will be using the function called as sent underscore tokenize and we will be converting this whole paragraph into sentences now you can see that i have five different kind of sentences now after converting this into five different kind of sentences now let us see we need to import something as an object of wordnet lemmatizer so here is an object which is which i have named as wordnet stemmer i am going to initialize with wordnet lemmatizer and here is my object that is getting created so this has got executed now you can actually execute the new sentences which will be my new sentences list initially it will be empty now let us see how we can apply both stop words and lemmatization for this particular sentence and this particular words now i will be going on with the for loop initially my for loop will be going through different kind of sentences over here so i have various sentences over here and i'll be looping through all the sentences for each and every sentences i'll be converting those sentences into word underscore tokenize and that will be getting converted into words then what we are going to do is that i'm going to apply a list comprehension the list comprehension will be something like this for word in words if word not in stop words dot english so basically i am removing all the words that are not present in the stop words apart from that i am going to do the additional step which is word net stemmer dot lemmatize once i do this lemmatization all the words that are related to lemmatization will be shortened up and the base root of that particular word will be calculated and finally i'll take all these words combine into a sentence and display it over here in the new underscore sentences so let me just execute this once again so once i have executed it let's see the difference between new underscore sentence and new sentences so here is my new underscore sentence and here is my sentences now you can see that the word again through stop keywords a has actually gone but the orator has not become orate instead it has become orator because we are trying to find out the same words with based on the context of that particular statement and this is how stop words with lemmatization is implemented and now you have seen the differences between if you apply stemming with stop words and stemming and lemmatization with stop words what is the basic differences how the text gets changed and how many words become lessened so once this kind of words gets actually eliminated it becomes very easier for the model to process the less amount of data and it will try to make a more sense of this data once we do this process in the next video we are going to see about document matrix and document matrix can be created by two ways one is bag of words and one is tf idf tf idf basically means like term frequency and inverse document frequency thanks for watching this video subscribe to our channel for more such videos a cat killed average is dead